Hi, welcome to Voice of the Week. Um, this is my ID. Okay, so part one, let's move on to talk about accommodation. Tell me about the kind of accommodation you live in. Well, currently I'm staying with um, both of my parents and my little sister in a six-story house. And it's located around one kilometer away from the very busy old quarter. But uh, we have like two bedrooms and like one living room, a kitchen and... Okay, let's move on now to part two. Uh, I'd like you to describe a goal that you hope to achieve in the future. Okay, your time is up. Um, remember you have two minutes and can you start speaking now please? Okay, so today I'm going to talk about a aim that I do want to uh, acquire someday in the future and that is, you know, learning multiple languages. So, um, first off, you know, traveling has always been a very big part of my life and uh, for someone like me who really loves to explore other cultures and their people, I uh, I've always wanted, you know, to communicate with them and, you know, experience the full um, thing um, at its best. Uh, but, you know, the thing is, uh, back in high school, um, that's when I started to do a lot of traveling alone uh, without my parents. And, you know, I, I kept on asking myself, like, how great must it be, you know, if I'm able to communicate with them in their mother tongue? And so that recurring question, uh, is exactly what has inspired me and uh, to to achieve this goal and that I've told myself to learn more languages than just Vietnamese and English. And so um, personally, I am a very self-motivated person and with the development of technology, um, I believe I can learn this language or any language at home by myself. But I guess anyone would agree with me that, you know, that's a bit too boring and a lot more time consuming. So I, I would rather take classes and that's why I'm going to take some language classes um, starting this summer. And uh, lastly, it is crucial for me to learn more langu languages because like I said, traveling has always been and will always be a big part of my life. And you know, wanting to have the full experience of um, learning different cultures and different people, this is the essential, the essential step for me to you know, achieve those longer term goals. So let's move on to part three. Do you think it's better to have clear goals for the future or is it best to take each day as it comes? If a person's day without a goal and that's a little bit uh, distracting, I feel any person without a goal could you know, easily be carried away or be off track but um, setting a goal that's essential for everyone because that is like sketching a, a, a photo for your future however clear goals I feel like that's um, a high expectations that people want to meet but if not they could be struggling and they could become stressful and probably disappointing as well so goals yes they are essential but um, clear goals that's debatable Hey, thank you, Ian. That's the end of um, this session of Voice of the Week. Thank you very much. Oh, there she is. How do you feel? Well, I'm, I'm not so sure. I mean, I was a little too nervous, so I made some mistakes here and there, but I hope it's all okay. So, you know, let's see what the expert has to say about her performance. Congratulations, Win. I think you nailed a performance. Uh, what do you think about uh, Win's performance there? A lot of confidence for sure. Yeah, I think um, she did great. And I guess I got to highlight the really natural pronunciation, um, great delivery there, including some really nice examples of what we call emphatic stress. So stuff like the exact date or it's crucial for me. So well done there. Um, also a great range of grammar and vocabulary, including some really poetic language that I was actually really kind of struck by. Um, some examples include the fresh smell of the sea and um, the sun filtering through the leaves and a dream-worthy scenario. So this girl's really got skills. Yeah, great job. 
I think she's uh, well on her way to achieving her sort of really ambitious um, IELTS score goals there. So uh, thank you, Lily, for the insightful comments. And you know, from what I've heard, I think she really nailed the test. So congratulations. Thank you. Good job. So, you know, uh, thank you DAV and thank you um, the delightful DAV students for such a pleasant visit. And thank you for your stories about how you conquer English as well as the IELTS. All right. And that, last but not least, keep it locked for the next section of this show. All right, so next up is the tips, 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 and tips section where you will be able to hear not just the writing tips this season, but also even more tips. All right, so let's see what the tips are today.